Hi guys and girls on YouTube and welcome to my channel. In this video we're going to be looking at class 1 earth bond testing and I'm going to show you my preferred test. Um, any equipment that uses a metal case, a class 1 item, um, a portable appliance test is not my choice of um, test equipment and I'm going to show you the shortcomings of these and why um, I use a different test for a class 1 earth appliance. Now, as you know, the earth case on any metal equipment is the most important thing. That's the bit that stops you getting from uh, electric shock. Any short circuit occurring inside flowing to earth, and it's the earth integrity, that's the only thing that stops you getting electrocuted. So let's set up a quick little demonstration, and uh, we'll do a pack test with this first, and uh, then we'll set it up on my preferred pack tester, and I'll show you the difference. Right, so supposing in this situation that we've got a, a metal um, class 1 earth appliance and the earth wire has actually become frayed. Now here I've deliberately frayed it. Um, now any short between live flowing through the earth, there is a danger that this connection, if it's frayed, could blow open. And that is the shortcomings of these portable appliance testers because it's only battery operated. So let's first do a class 1 earth bond test with this uh, frayed wire on this uh, Martindale pack tester. Right, so here we go, we're all set up for a pack test. You can see I've clipped onto the frayed wire there. So let's turn it on. Uh, we're testing at 500 volts. Not that that's, uh, that's irrelevant because we're not actually testing uh, resistance. We're just testing the earth integrity. Um, so here we go, let's class one earth appliance. Let's press the button and see what happens. So if you look there, ignore the insulation test, if you look there, it's actually passed on the earth bond test. Now don't forget, this is a very frayed piece of wire. If you can see how many conductors there I've cut to fray that. Um, now that's, although that's given it a pass, uh, you would think this is safe to use. But let me show you on my preferred pack tester now, which I always use on um, class 1 equipment, and we'll see what happens. Right, so if you can see, we've got exactly the same setup. Uh, we clipped onto the frayed piece of uh, earth wire, uh, but this time I'm using the Kane and May KM7500 pack tester. Um, now, this is a very brutal test. Um, we're actually putting 25 amps down the earth wire and we measure the resistance, the earth circuit ohms, the resistance, when we're passing 25 amps down the wire. Now, putting 25 amps down a piece of wire will show up any problem there is with the integrity of the earth. So, um, first of all, if you notice that it says mains fault, take no notice of that. It's because I'm running from an isolated bench power supply. There's no earth on this equipment now because it comes from an isolating transformer. So, the test is, um, I've got it set for 0.1 ohm. Um, you press this button and you hold it for five seconds and that puts 25 amps down the green wire and it measures the voltage drop and that will give you the earth circuit ohms. So, if I can hold the camera at the same time, I'll get ready to press the button. Now let's have a look what happens to the wire that's frayed. And as you can see, the wire blew straight open and uh, the test has failed. So I'll just give you one more quick demonstration of that. And once again, the test has failed. Right, so now we'll do the same test with no fraying of the wire. As you can see, it's got the full conductors there. So here we go, 25 amps, 5 seconds. And there we go, no fault located. Um, this green wire now will actually be getting quite warm because 25 amps is a lot of current. But as you can see, 
that's standing the test and they got the earth circuit ohms there um, there's about 15 seconds now and it's still holding so as you can see that is the shortcoming with the um, the small battery operated portable appliance tester so uh, anytime I'm using uh, anytime I've got anything in for repair like a microwave with a metal case um, this is my preferred um, portable appliance test rather than handheld ones so we're uh, all right guys and girls i hope you enjoyed that video many thanks for watching and um, i'll catch you in the next one pretty soon